In the opulent palaces of ancient Japan, a group of concubines found themselves entangled in a web of power, rivalry, and treachery. Their lives took an unexpected turn when Emperor Hiroshi, the patron and protector, breathed his last breath. With his demise, the once harmonious palace descended into chaos, and the concubines were thrust into a struggle for survival amidst a sea of political intrigues. Yumi, a concubine renowned for her intellect and grace, became a beacon of resilience in this tumultuous landscape. Determined to protect herself and her fellow concubines, she embarked on a treacherous journey through a maze of shifting allegiances and dangerous power plays. Jealousies flared, secret alliances formed, and betrayal lurked in every shadow. As the concubines fought for influence and dignity, they encountered external threats and societal prejudice. Yet, fueled by their unity and shared struggles, they found the strength to challenge oppressive systems and demand recognition for their talents and aspirations. Their story resonated beyond the palace walls, inspiring women throughout the empire to question their own roles and fight for their rights. The struggles of the concubines became a catalyst for change, marking a turning point in the history of ancient Japan and reminding us that even in the darkest of times, the indomitable spirit of women can reshape the course of nations. In the ancient land of Japan, a vast empire flourished under the reign of Emperor Hiroshi. Within the walls of his opulent palace, a group of concubines resided, each hoping to gain favor and secure position of influence. However, their lives took an unforeseen turn when tragedy struck, and Emperor Hiroshi breathed his last. With the Emperor's demise, chaos engulfed the palace. The once harmonious atmosphere turned into a battleground of power-hungry contenders. The concubines found themselves in the eye of the storm, their lives hanging in the balance. Yumi, a con by known for her grace and intelligence, understood the precarious situation. Jealousies and rivalries among the concubines reached a boiling point. Each woman sought to secure her position and gain favor with the influential courtiers. Backstabbing, manipulation, and betrayal became the order of the day. Yumi, with her keen intellect and sharp intuition, understood the perils they faced. She knew that survival required more than just physical beauty and charm. It required a shrewdness and adaptability that transcended their roles as concubines. In their struggle for power and influence, some concubines resorted to desperate measures. Secret alliances were formed, clandestine meetings held, and covert information exchanged. Yumi navigated this treacherous landscape, constantly assessing the shifting alliances and identifying potential threats to herself and her companions. Beyond the confines of the palace, the concubines faced additional challenges. Society viewed them with disdain as mere playthings for the powerful. They were confined to the shadows, their lives subject to the whims of those in positions of authority. Yumi, however, refused to accept this fate. She recognized the strength within herself and her fellow concubines, and she was determined to reclaim their autonomy and dignity. She sought to empower them, instilling a sense of self-worth and resilience that had been eroded by their circumstances. Together, they devised strategies to assert their influence and make their voices heard. Yumi encouraged the concubines to cultivate their talents and skills, honing their abilities in music, dance, and poetry. They sought solace in the arts, finding moments of respite and self-expression amid the turmoil, but the struggles were not limited to the internal dynamics of the palace. External forces posed threats as well. Rival factions and ambitious warlords sought to exploit the power vacuum left by the Emperor's death. Yumi and her companions had to tread carefully, navigating the treacherous waters of political alliances and rivalries to protect themselves and secure their future. In the face of adversity, the concubines developed a deep bond. They became each other's confidants, offering support and solace amidst the turmoil. Through shared experiences and mutual understanding, they found strength in their unity. Knowing that they were not alone in their struggles, Yumi emerged as a leader among the concubines, rallying them in their quest for survival and dignity. She encouraged them to challenge the status quo, to question the oppressive systems that had kept them confined. They began to challenge societal norms, demanding recognition and respect for their intelligence, talents, and aspirations. Their struggle was not without sacrifices. Many faced personal hardships and setbacks, their dreams shattered by the unforgiving realities of their world. Yet, they persisted, fueled by a collective determination to overcome the limitations imposed upon them. She knew that her survival depended on her ability to navigate the treacherous waters of palace politics. As the days passed, rivalries intensified, alliances formed and dissolved, and whispers of treachery filled the air. Yumi's determination to protect herself and her fellow concubines never wavered. She observed the power shifts and plotted her next move. Aware that the new emperor would soon be chosen, she sought allies among the eunuchs and servants who held valuable information and influence behind the scenes. One night, as the moon bathed the palace in an ethereal glow, Yumi gathered a small group of trusted confidants. They huddled together, their voices barely above a whisper, discussing the perilous situation they faced. 
They knew that their fate rested on their ability to navigate the treacherous power struggles that would follow Emperor Hiroshi's death. Through covert meetings and coded messages, Yumi discovered that a prominent general, General Takashi, was a strong contender for the throne. Seeing an opportunity, she reached out to him, offering her loyalty and assistance in exchange for protection and support for her fellow concubines. General Takashi, a seasoned warrior with a keen understanding of the palace intrigues, saw the value in Yumi's offer. He recognized her intelligence and resourcefulness and believed that she could be a valuable ally. He agreed to protect the concubines under his reign, provided they maintained their loyalty and stayed out of political machinations. With General Takashi's support, Yumi and her fellow concubines found a temporary respite from the chaos within the palace walls. However, their newfound safety was not without its challenges. Rival factions within the court, fueled by jealousy and ambition, sought to undermine General Takashi's rule. Yumi, ever vigilant, knew that their survival depended on maintaining the general's favor. She carefully maneuvered through the treacherous landscape, diffusing tensions and using her wit and charm to win over influential courtiers. She developed a network of informants, gathering valuable intelligence to help her anticipate and thwart potential threats to the concubine's safety. As time passed, Yumi's influence grew, not only within the palace, but also beyond its walls. She cultivated alliances with influential figures in the surrounding provinces, using her position to advocate for social reforms and better treatment of women. Her efforts earned her a reputation as a champion for the oppressed and a voice for change. The struggles of Yumi and her fellow concubines did not go unnoticed by the people. Their resilience and defiance in the face of adversity inspired whispers of hope and ignited a spark of revolution. The common folk began to question the absolute power of the monarchy and the mistreatment of women in the palace. Yumi, aware of the growing unrest, realized that her role had transcended that of a concubine. She became a symbol of resistance, a beacon of hope for those who yearn for a more just society. Embracing her newfound responsibility, she rallied the support of the people using her influence to advocate for social change. As the winds of revolution swept across the land, the palace walls trembled. The power struggles that had oppressed Yumi and her fellow concubines for so long began to crumble. The cries for justice grew louder, echoing through the corridors of power. In the end, it was not the rise of a new emperor that brought liberation to Yumi and her companions, but the collective will of the people. The monarchy was abolished and a new era dawned, guided by the principles of equality and justice. In the annals of history, the struggles of the concubines became a tale of resilience and triumph. Yumi's unwavering determination and strategic brilliance had played a pivotal role in shaping the course of the nation. The once silenced voices of the concubines now echoed through the ages, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, strength, unity, and the pursuit of freedom can lead to a brighter future for all. As the dramatic era of the concubines in ancient Japan drew to a close, their struggles left an indelible mark on history. Through the challenges they faced, they defied societal norms and shattered the expectations placed upon them. Their unwavering determination and resilience resonated far beyond the palace walls, sparking a transformative movement. The concubines' quest for autonomy and recognition became a beacon of inspiration for women throughout the empire, igniting a wave of change. Their defiance broke the chains that confined them, heralding a new era of equality and justice. Their legacy endured, serving as a testament of the power of perseverance and collective action. Their stories became a wellspring of motivation for those who dared to dream of a brighter future, reminding them that in the face of adversity, transformation is possible. As time progressed, the struggles of the concubines in ancient Japan continued to weave themselves into the fabric of history. While their names may have faded, their spirit persisted, reminding us that the pursuit of freedom, dignity, and equality transcends time and boundaries. 
If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, press the notification bell, and write a comment below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content like this.